I haven't seen random guy JCI's name around these parts until very recently. We got ourselves a new player and another new player. A lot of this, a lot of new players. It's great to see. Yeah, I don't even know where they came from. I, I've seen Lawn around before, so I was actually, I feel like they were around during last MT. Maybe they didn't join. Yeah, that's. I started with Random Guy JCI, and then the card came up for Lawn and said sit for the first time, and I went also new, I guess. But I thought I'm pretty sure I knew yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's exactly. I'll thank thank you, Roger Darthful, for gifting some tier one subs to people. Oh yeah, look at that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Every little bit counts uh, in helping ID buy silly prizes for people and getting us fancy stream layouts. So as always, when we have new players, we don't have, we, you know, we don't can't talk about their their history in mystery tournament or or whatnot. So basically, we have these images to go off of. We have these display pictures. What's, what's the left one? Probably from That's, a game, right? Is that the? That looks like Hyperlight Drifter to me. Mm, yeah, maybe. What's the? It's like a top-down boss fight game with psychedelic colors. Is it? Is it Fury? Is it? Mm. The right also kind of looks like Shinobi. Which? What are you talking about? The, oh wait, you're talking about the, the, their art. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I swear it looks like Hyperlight Drifter on the left, but I don't think that's right. Maybe it is Shinobi. You might be right about it. Or Mark of the Ninja. Something. I don't know what colors they look like. I played like 10 minutes of that and then forgot to finish it. Yeah, well, it's more of a cape than like a flowing scarf that winds all over the place. Yeah. That would be Shinobi. But it's got the same color palette and the same attitude. And then on the right, it's cute. It looks like But a, I don't know anything. It looks like a Tohu character as a... Kind of. The face, though. Like, you... It's very, it's like a totally different um, style yeah. than anime, right? No, I don't want to tell you what this reminds me of. Okay. Is it Kirby? Kind of looks like Henry Stickman. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> that, that game from the Among Us guy. Okay, Drake confirmed it is Hyper Light Drifter. I'm not a crazy person. Well done. I'm well, going to trust Drake. Drake knows a lot. We, we also have the flavor text. These are chosen by the competitors when they sign up. So we got Ice Nine up here. Look at that. Ice Nine is uh, a type of ice that uh, freezes at a a, a lower a, a lower temperature. It's a it's a <laughs> Ridiculous plot point in the uh, puzzle game visual novel 999. Oh, yeah. I, I, need, I still need to play that game. I kept thinking about doing it. We, we talked about this. Does it exist? We, we, or someone talked about it. I don't uh, know. Like... It is a solid water stable at temperatures below 140 degrees Kelvin or. Yes, but does it exist? 100, uh, it sure sounds like it because I'm reading science. Okay. <laughs> It's just Ice 9, but spelled with the Roman numeral, not with the number 9. I like IX. And there there are things in that game that it presents as facts that turn out to just be totally made up. Oh yeah, uh, that, that homo whatever field. Okay, so <laughs> could refer to three field. things that seem reasonable that aren't have nothing to do with what Myth said, which I think is more fun. There's Ice 9, which is a first-person shooter on the Game Boy Advance. That does exist. And there's Ice-9, a fictional computer virus in the American science fiction crime drama television series, Person of Interest. Okay. Cool. There's also Ice-9, an instrumental album by Susumu Hir Hirasawa. Oh, that's my favorite. And Ice-9, the second track of Joe Satri uh, Satriani's 1987 Surfing with the Alien. Uh, okay, never mind, that's my Karash 9, which is an Israeli rock band, uh, Karash B. Ice in Hebrew. This is and... just a popular word with <laughs> yeah, one of with the, of the first after. ten numbers, so, like, of course, it's yeah. been used in all kinds and of things. It's also a album by a Russian rock band, so, you know, I, it seems either music or, you know, sci-fi. 
One of the two. Ice is just a cool word. Ice is a cool word. If you're trying to sound cool. Yeah, there's, I, there's a whole song ice. about I, it. I'm angry about this conversation now. <laughs> Random guy JCI knows how to make farting noises with his hands. <laughs> I don't know if that will help here in Mystery Tournament. I mean, it's, it, it gives us less to talk about, which I like. <laughs> there's less to Google about this one. Because, yeah, I, I can understand Yeah, that. you're right. Let's just sit here in silence instead. <laughs> I'm still mad about the that cool too. word pun myth just dropped and well, is so this sneaky. very cool? I did say that. I meant yeah, it I as a double notice. entendre too. Uh, I know, and I <laughs> and I'm just like you're just gonna, <laughs> you snuck un it in there. In intended. That's right. <clears throat> Players are still getting set up. Um, one of the players was setting up IRC for the first time as well, so I, you know, maybe maybe a little bit overwhelmed. This has been a lot of new players having a lot of setup time. This is fine. This is totally fine because it means we get new players here in Mystery Tournament. Okay, I have never played this game, but I have commentated this game before. <laughs> I had to go look up a video because I just could not remember it. Thank you, Shrambles. <laughs> how, did, how did one player get it into 4x3 resolution and the other in 16x9? Yeah, I don't know, it launched like this apparently. I also saw the left player uh -huh. has 144 hertz, which I support. Uh, well, uh, is this game Unity? I mean, it has a setting for it in the menu. Oh, okay, fine. yeah, 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 then that's, that's It'll be probably fine. okay. Well, no, y Unity is usually fine. Um, but also, that would be a reason why someone may have booted in 4x3 if, like, they had some, like, weird app data setting that was just lying around from, like, the last one they played. Alright, let's have a look. Our racers are getting ready. And we have a game. The game's called Drum Tasty roll. Static. Game where so you go fast and you jump a lot. <laughs> yeah, we've had Sky Roads on Mystery Tournament a couple of times. This is a better game than Sky Roads. <laughs> yeah, this is this is that though. You you kind of you could drive forwards. You can choose to. What is music? Sort of change lanes left or right. You can jump. You know, Maurice, you raced this a couple years ago. You left a you left a pretty go uh, good comment want to talk about that uh, I don't remember this game but sure uh, I you move I left and right you great. try to avoid falling off the road you make little noises <laughs> <laughs> and you're off yeah uh, here I'll post this in the thing so you can remember exactly what you said yeah you but bounce the same way you do oh you can roads too. you can go yeah. through those tunnels or you can yeah, go on top, I remember. Or you can go red. half in the tunnel. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Yeah. Explode. Red, red is death. Uh, everything else is safe, if I'm remembering this correctly. Uh, so, like, trying to go through that, like, circular tunnel, that's dumb. Just jump on top. Yeah, I agree. Um, this looks pretty red when they jump on this these platforms. Yeah, I assume and you mean red walls, purple. right? Uh, yeah, uh, it's something like, or, like, it's, it's very red. Like... You know, the kind of red that is like, oh, that's that's murder. If I if I'm remembering that. Like you know, it's a RGB two five five zero zero type of red. Alright. We've mm -hmm. got like a uh, N64 logo coloring going on on this blog. You oh, know? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. And it kind of sounds like Iron Man for the GBA. <laughs> This game is sure super bouncy. Oh, I do remember this. If they jump on top of those tunnels at the end of the stage... Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, they won't clear, which is awful for yeah, some you gotta drive through the little circle thing. See, they kept that from Sky Roads as well. Yeah, jumping on these tunnels is a good idea. Huh? Yeah, but it, actually, it, it, Lon makes it through, and random guy falls off trying to jump. Yeah, uh, I, I don't remember if this game had the tapping left and right kind of moves you a very set distance so you can more or less control how you're going. 
it no, looked man. to me like random guy lost control in the air coming off of the tunnel. Like hit a bounce that took them off to the left and there was no coming back. And uh, again there, no adjustment. Uh, so I think oh, it's a trap. on speed platforms. And yeah, the, now there's warps. Oh, that's, that's BS. This tunnel is a total trap. There's no floor. I'm uh, directly in the middle of the level. I'm not sure if they yeah. just didn't move since they spawned in at the start, and so it had no problem on the round tunnel. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Boris, is, uh, you're giving comments. If you, you saw what I posted, that is what you said about this the last time you played the game. Wait, where? Uh, it, it, it events that up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm like, that's, that's that's pretty good if you want to talk about that. That's reasonable. I mean, I, I, we have yet to see it, but apparently I was not a fan of the purposely uh, evil level design thing. That's a mild paraphrase. Yeah, I, I did not use evil, but in the sense. So apparently, so what I mean by that is like, you know, like basically like pick a door in Super Mario Maker. That is purposely yeah. being evil or the other thing. To the player just to be annoying not because it's yeah. fun but because i don't know you get a kick out of it as a creator or something i, I yeah. don't know why I, people do it. i do distinctly remember like there is like a tunnel that you have to jump on top of but you can see maybe for half a second before you get to it oh it's just there's just a hole there um which maybe if you're playing casually it's Lonis? fine -ish. oh but you also have this charge which means the game will force you to when it wants to because you can run out of gas. Um, and unlike Skyroads, you can't finish with no gas. I, if I'm remembering that, you just blow up. Oh, so L Lon is on a level where the floor is uh, bounce pads. Bouncy, yeah. And there's like a wall coming and there's these jumps you have to make to the left and the right. So you gotta like adjust your speed. So yeah. That, that I, doesn't happen. Yeah going, yeah, going slower or I think maybe if, uh, if they are high enough, they might be able to get on that wall on the left barely. No. Oh no! Yeah, that, that was that was overcorrection. Because I think you're also given like um. I wonder if you lose a bunch of uh, control in the air. FFA says I you have tell no. You, I, I'm getting very worried for a random guy, JCI. I, no, uh, they slowed down so much. I was like, finally, they're going to go in the tunnel, right? They're going to go in the tunnel, right? Because it turns out, actually, it's a horrible idea oh, to go it? on you top. Off? You have no control in the air while you bounce, and the round tunnels will... They're round. They're not, uh -huh. you know, it's not just a visual yeah. thing. So staying on top of them is ridiculously difficult. It is only now, finally, that JCI decides to try to go in the tunnel and is oh, probably going to beat this first oh. try now. There, there, there you go. There's your. Uh, there's your. Is the lava? <laughs> That's the color red. You just gotta trust this level to that full speed is the right speed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, that's it, while while that's like horrible. If you're oh, just what? like, well, let's see how how I go if I'm at full speed. It's pretty clear that you'll make it. Like. Pretty clear than, indication. Like, wait, of yeah. the lack of air control there. Just a, wanted to readjust a little bit while on the platform. And just like, oh, you're holding left when you bounced? All right, you're going left, and <laughs> that run was completely yeah. over. But this Whoa. one looks good. Oh, yeah, flip Whoa. gravity. This nice. bouncing level for JCI was a big problem for Lon. It was sort of a lesson in, hey, you can control your speed, and you're going to need to do that. Yeah. I am a fan of games that will, you know, properly teach you mechanics slowly. Uh, oh, I remember, I remember uh, casting this, and everyone got stuck on this, because basically it'll make you do, at the end of that tunnel, like an immediate quick shift left or right, and that is awful. Um, or, oh, maybe it's the other one that does that. I thought it was that one, but there's a stage that's exactly like that. I could also be thinking of Skyroads. <laughs> This I wonder a... how much merit there is to going slow in this game. Um, well, you have the charge, so you can't go, you know, super slow, but mm. I can imagine... Somewhat? I don't think. I would go as fast as the level of that. Yeah, no, but I just mean so you can actually react or think about what's <laughs> going on. 
as the level allows me. I would find out exactly how fast I can go and then go that fast. I'm, I'm not gonna Well, yeah, 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 well, that's yeah. the best thing to do. Yeah, but, I mean, like, I would, uh, oh, yeah, you can't Ooh, go there fast is. there. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> rude. And you, as you see on top, you can take the top path, but there's lava. <laughs> like, what I'm saying is that my default speed will be max. Yeah, my, And then, my... if it didn't work, you slow a little more and a little yes. more. I'm not going to pretend like I wouldn't go max speed and just continue ramming my head into a wall, dying repeatedly. I, it's no other option. Oh, and I'm glad JCI finally made that difficult right to left transfer, but then uh, was unable to speed up or slow down. Oh, no. but either one oh. I think would have worked. Oh, yeah, I don't so think. Oh, oh, actually, going over it seems possible. Just jump a little. Yeah, it's just, it's just annoying. Because. You basically have like lag on your rejump if you bounce because you know uh, you can't like you know push the button until you finish your second thing. This is so tough. There's so the way I would want to do this is I would want to jump and then in the air tap 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 and find yeah you know, get lined up in the air yeah. and that's just not a thing you can do in this game. Yeah. Go down. What? Oh. Oh yeah. If you don't go fast enough, you don't you crash. <laughs> that's that's a little okay. awkward. Oh no! Oh come on! <laughs> so like, rude. I, I, I'm glad I'm not crazy and I wasn't thinking of the wrong game. <laughs> yeah, that's what my comment is maybe about. I, yeah, I, I'm looking at this and it looks like for Lon, like, the sides of these flat platforms still have, like, a gravity associated with them. Because it feels like Lon's getting pulled straight that's off. Slow. Okay, not that slow. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like they're losing a lot just of to be safe. So. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's just like, oh, you have to have this specific speed to make these jumps. Uh, okay, I'm, we're seeing some speed adjustment from JCI. Uh, I think it's gonna well. be a level clear. Oh, nice. For him, yeah. Not out yet. It's like a few levels, uh, a few easy levels behind. And but how many thousands of levels of this do we have left? I don't remember. Uh, this should be like level nine, full on ish. Well, no, I meant roads like... one to three of the first six sets. Yeah, so is... yeah, so halfway through. I... Uh, yeah, and you know it doesn't look like a game that gets easier. I I'm honestly wondering if Juan can go over that at the speed that he's trying to, just because the balance makes it so that okay, just gets there, and. I mean, the lava is definitely possible because the pattern. Yeah, yeah. I mean, is again... the lava pattern is the one yeah, you're it, forced yeah, to do with the. Yeah. Oh, it's actually a good idea to do the the, the in quotes right. hard part at the start because then you learn how to do it for the second part of it. Yeah. So the thing I I, I have just remembered that we haven't had, uh, we we haven't experienced is that gravity thing, and uh, they will change how jumps and everything affect you or if you can even jump at all later in the game. We'll see how that goes. This game reminds me a little of um, Swift Stitch. You know that game? Never heard of it. TPC play. Uh, mm. I, I I got it in one MT, then I subbed it two MTs later, and TPC played it. And it's a game. Uh, it, it's kind of like this. You're always moving. You by pressing a direction, you move in the other like dimension. So you're always moving to the right. If you hold the button, you will instead move up. Right. So you switch between moving right and up, and you try to avoid obstacles and stuff like that. And the thing is, before you start the level, you can choose how fast you go from 1 to 9. And it's a wide I, range, so 1 is I, really slow and 9 is really fast. And so it's it's a really interesting like mechanic in a, in a blind racing setting where you go, okay, maybe at the start I'll, I'll go a little higher, like a 6 or a 7 maybe, but then surely the game is going to get harder, so maybe I should like tone it down a little as the race goes on, or maybe I get better actually and I want to stay or even go higher. It's so interesting. You get used to one speed yeah. and hone in on that particular yeah, skill set. Oh. I do remember that game, oh. I played it. My comment on that was a good game, but better if you aren't thinking while playing. You just had to go. Which here... I always think that some games are just like, if you start thinking, you'll overthink, and you'll uh, make more mistakes in simple games. I feel like you need to think a little bit in this one. Yeah, I'm I'm, in this, I'm the same... Oh, what? what? Okay, okay. Right. Lon just goes right what? through the ceiling of the tunnel. I, I would not be surprised if uh, uh, Lon's death there was because they were uh, busy with the... Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, I no, I agree. I think both players have been too slow to, you know, if I wanted to be really critical, uh, to change what they're doing, to experiment, to you know, think about why they are not succeeding and what might help them succeed. Because it's the moment they have changed their strategies, like I'm gonna stop going on top of this tunnel, I'm gonna slow down or speed up. They just solved it immediately, right? Yeah. So it was it was not a matter of execution. It was a, a matter of uh, approach and strategy. Yeah, and I'm, I'm enjoying the, the, the slowdown, just crashing a wall. Your charge doesn't matter yet, and I don't know if it will for this goal. It is a long oh, charge. Oh, that's rude. I mean, it's... Don't fault. Yeah, I so I, I I genuinely don't know if if you can think your way out of uh, what Lon is running into now though. This is it's just yeah, difficult you, to you do those to find, lava squares. You just have to find the right speed, which I think is probably like somewhere between seventy and eighty percent. But I don't know, uh, or rather, I don't remember how easy it is to adjust to that uh, amount. Random guy. Ooh, there we go. That's that level. I think he's so, one behind. Uh, there, yeah, Might yeah, be one the, behind. Yeah, but it's pretty. It's a literally a straight shot. So you just hold forwards here and then time your jumps. If I nope, different level. Okay. Uh, mm. it, it, it's awesome. a slightly different one. Oh, but yeah, I mean, three. Yeah, it's it could it, be the first that level. One. Now they're on the same stage. Yeah, yeah. Long has been here for five minutes at least. This is, uh, keep in mind, this is their first mystery tournament match, so I'm sure there's some amount of nerves, and those nerves start to run really high the moment something like this starts to happen. You start to get stuck. I, uh, that still happens to me. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to be stuck. It, it gets to a point where if I'm in a situation like that it's just like well if i clear this stage and I, i've definitely had this thought before so if i clear this and they haven't dot done yet we're either neck and neck or i'm way ahead of them but, but like they should be beating me at this point and that that helps me relax a little bit uh, no, not full speed no way too fast you do have that speed indicator in the bottom left. It's yeah. not exactly where you want to have the focus of your eyes while you're playing this game, I think. But if you can manage to keep track of it, you could be thinking like, okay, you know, two thirds of the slice of pie is about where I want to be or half or something, right? You can use that to try to dial in on where you need to be in this lava section. Oh, random guy discovering you can just bonk the wall. Don't go so fast. Oh, try okay, to get okay, a jump no, out I, there. I, I understand that thought process. Is trying to go. Oh, here we go, Lon. There. Come on. I think random guys actually. Yeah, it, random guys' speed control is uh, very nice if you watch them uh, go through that tunnel right there. Uh, there was definitely a lot of tapping. Um. I also know that if I was doing that tunnel section, oh, maybe no. I did what? I'm. It's one of those things where you're just like, how many of these do I have to, you know, avoid? And you forget, and you just crash into the wall repeatedly. And I'm slow so down. So the, the acceleration is not, the, you know, they don't have a an analog uh, trigger or anything they're using to accelerate. So sure it's to hold here. the speed no. steady. What? Uh, oh. uh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Almost. I don't know why they spit up, though. Like, just find the one speed that, like, clears one gap at a time. Yeah, but like holding, like I, I was just about to get into that. Holding a certain speed, I guess, requires feathering no. the acceleration no. button? Or... No, You just press yeah. up to speed up, and then you hold down a little to speed down. Oh, so it's got like cruise control. Yeah. Okay. yeah, see, yeah so just, you can see yeah. on, on random guy, he's not going max speed right now. Perfect. Yeah, the, the, the hard part is like, it's just like tapping the buttons to get it to where you want to be. I think it has like an initial move and then it like increases slower or something. So it's it's hard to get perfect. Just go like half it, speed. Yeah, just stay at this speed. Yeah, and that might- It's a little clear. slow. Oh God, why is this working? Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh. I was, I was digging it. Like I liked yeah. it because you can go slower and hop back and forth. 
And then you don't have to worry about clearing one, but then you have to worry about a, a bunch of other velocities going on. That's a different buff. I, I feel like random I... guy is closer to solving this level. Yes, that is exactly what I was going yeah. to say. The, their willingness to experiment with the speed in this way is paramount, not just to beating this level, I think, but probably all the levels going forwards. Tortoise and the hare, you know, you take things a little bit slower. It feels so bad when you capable of thinking about when you know you should go slow and then you don't because I mean you wanna go fast and then you die because of it. Ah, oh, it's a, yeah, it's so I, bad. I have a very bad habit of playing games in a method that like this is what feels fun. And if that means dying thirty times, uh that's when I lose. <laughs> you're too fast. You're too slow. You're too fast. Oh, okay. You're uh, fast. in the butt. You're so critical, Maurice. Jeez. <laughs> what was <this>? Just... <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> You're right, though. You're, it, it, that just speaks to the the difficulty of of the game. I think that it's so easy to go from you know wrong on one end of the spectrum to wrong on the other. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Control that jumps. Looks beautiful. Oh! But so close. So close. And I think that that like gives you the idea. Oh yeah, that that was correct. Yes. In fact, I think we're we're very even now. Mm -hmm. The one thing I would say is like, because I know I'm, uh, you know, victim of this frequently, is when you have like all of these constant turns, Best. you sometimes forget that part of the stage is happening, and then you make a mistake and you die, because <laughs> it's just you know very same occasionally. What I really like about no, wait, jump to the about side? this checkerboard pattern is that there's there's kind of two solutions if you're depending on what your speed is, right? Like if your speed is such that you want to jump and go like two squares ahead or three squares ahead determines whether you need to be going left or right. So like if you're not paying attention and you don't know what speed you should be at, you get to the section and you need to make a decision and. The decision is solved by either speeding up or slowing no, down what? or going left or going right. And it's not both, right? It needs to be one or the other. And I can see the mid-air, uh, well, not mid-air, because then you're already dead, but the just before they jump decision-making going on. Yeah, the, the one thing I am appreciating is while the stage kind of starts teaches you, hey, you can glide over these things, um, when you basically hit this tunnel, it very quickly shows you, hey, this lava is raised. So it's not a concept of, oh, do I fall into the lava? Like, what's my hitbox there? It's, oh, that's higher. I'm going to touch it. So it's it, it's showing you but that you can't use top? that first strategy that you used, whether or not that's oh, intentional. What? Oh, what? Uh, oh. So, no, this is the stage. You have to go in that pipe or you will go over the exit. <laughs> oh, no. So uh, I, I, I remember some that happening to someone. Maybe I was playing this on the side while talking about it, and that happened to me. But I, I distinctly remember that, and that was very rude. It is getting a little weird, a little crunchy. Oh, Lon needed to, to keep going fast. But if you stay that speed, I don't think you're going to get into the tunnel afterwards. Let's see how the other audio. This is better. This doesn't make my ears hurt. Um, the, I, I, I agree with your, like, you can do diagonal or straight. The, the problem is if you go straight, the last jump you have to do is diagonal, so you have to slow down at the end. You gotta realize mm -hmm. that. Or you could just, yeah, uh, kind of wing it and hope that you make it in the pipe still. <laughs> yeah, the other thing I can remember, um, and I think this happened, I may be mistaken for another stage, is because at high speeds you bounce when you jump, if you land right in front of that pipe, you're gonna bounce up and die, and there's nothing you can do. Oh, no, don't. So... What? Why do you go on top? It's where the lava uh... is. Rick Re had joined the race, is racing along, and is more than willing to voice their displeasure with what is happening <laughs> to them in the race chat, oh. which oh. maybe is comforting or distracting, I don't know, for our players, but I find generally if you're having a bad time, knowing other people are having a bad time is a comfort. But also, yeah, probably don't say anything. The race I, I occasionally like watching the IRC, because if I know there's someone who I want to pace myself against, if I see them finish, I think in my head, I have five minutes before I lose this race or something like that. Mm. Um, 
so it, it makes me either more urgent or play. Oh, oh all right. Happened just, again. Just go inside. <laughs> if someone lost to something like that, like, because if the race was that close, they clipped through, like, the floor at the end of a stage, like, I <laughs> feel bad. I never want that to happen to someone in a blind race. Like, if it was, like, a practice race, right, here we go. you know. You, Hold you on. Know, what? No, oh, too fast. Um, speed coming out of the tunnel. Uh, random guy, love it. Love it, just straight. Uh, whoa. Okay, oh, no, random, random oh, guy. Oh, should that should be it. Should be it. Just don't move. Oh, no, oh, don't jump. Oh, okay. Don't move. Oh, you have to go up. You had to go you up. You have to go up. You have to go oh, up. Oh, my oh, God. Uh, the okay, game okay. teaches you earlier that, like, no, you need to be in the tunnel. And now it's like, nope, you need to be yeah. on top of the tunnel. So, here's the other thing. What if the left and right side part of that is different? One of them you have to be in, one of them you have to be out. Oh, that would be extra bonus rude. <laughs> it was there on the screen. I'm trying to recall in my mind's eye. I think they're the same. Oh, but they you can kind of see them in the it distance. Looks, it looks ah, like so it's close. the same. So you have to jump in that when it's like when the ceiling is open. Um, either that or you start on top once you get there. That's so fast. Uh -huh. Yeah, but fast so, one. let's talk mentally what happens to you when you get stuck on this level and then you finally do it and then that happens at the end, you guessed wrong on the 50-50, like, that's, you're, you're, you're cruising for tilt mode at that point, I think. Uh, I don't and know. I mean, you, I, you've I proven yourself start. you can do it, I think yeah. it's fine. Mm. I think you, it, you have the you, makings you. of a very strong blind racer, and not everyone possesses this sort of. I I honestly would think like all right, I'm gonna feel really really awful if I lose by 30 seconds. Like Don't that's what top. I think. Stop jumping. I I do appreciate like oh you know what I'm really having trouble. I should like try different things. Is a good idea in principle, but. If you, once you find the solution, you should do the solution, right? I, I occasionally have issues where, like, if I try something repeatedly because I think it's going to work, I'll find myself defaulting back into bad muscle memory while playing some mm. stages. Um, it has gotten to the point where I have played games with a controller and a keyboard at the same time, because then I'm like, I'm doing the same thing repeatedly, and I will switch controls Ooh. so that I can't. <laughs> okay. It's a mental trick. That it's like the it's kind of worked for me. Once. That's, that's one of those anime powers that we were talking about. Like <laughs> mystery yeah, tournament yeah, no, anime powers. It, Your anime power I, is using different control methods to no, like switching it, it, controllers. He's yeah, unlocked yeah, new abilities. Yeah. No, no, it's just like no. I can't do the same stupid thing I was just doing with buttons instead of an analog stick. Yeah. No, I I really appreciate that. A big problem, particularly with puzzle games for me, is I get stuck in one way of thinking and I know I need to have some other thought, but I can't. I'm just stuck in yeah. whatever I was doing before. And so having doing something physically to break you out of a mental rut, I can see the connection. Yeah, and like and for well like I wouldn't use it for puzzles because like you just get stuck like okay, I have to remember that I can't do this. Like puzzles it's harder, but like in a mechanical game um, you know, sometimes it works. Uh, the other things I've done is, uh, if a game is particularly, like, destroying my hands, uh, and I'm playing on keyboard, I'll, like, swap my left and right hand just to do different motions, because it hurts. Uh, but, you know, those games aren't usually placed in Mystery Tournament, because, you know, they're not, they hurt. Random guy keeps jumping on top, and I don't know. <laughs> I don't, it, 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 the top looks slippery! Random guy like, was definitely trying to find some cheese on the the le the ledge of the level or something and just oh, drive oh, past cool, all though. the all the lava. I, I can that's what I that's my gut feeling. Yeah, random guy also jumps like tries to jump up here. Yeah, I I think it one just, of the reasons I don't know. Yeah, because the Too game fast. forces you back into this section. Like if you were looking for a way that you could not have to ever jump left or right, that would be lovely. Like no, don't time. jump on top. I'm trying to think of what the level looks like up there. Like, it, if you jump on top, can you get lined up with the exit on the left instead Maybe of having to do it mid lava ah, field? Okay, that's a good point. Fast. Like, if you're max speed, you jump at the very end. Maybe you hit the one thing and you bounce enough to go oh, over the but first you don't. Oh, ah. I think Lon is just trying it too fast. Trying to jump over you're right, two though, lava Alpha, at the that, same that time. That is one approach of. Rather than trying to finesse it and make all these adjustments mid-go, you try to find some kind of, like, 
basically pre-programmed algorithm you can do that you can just hone after multiple tries that is you know you're yeah. eventually you're basically creating your own speedrun route live and then if it works you just have to follow it after that yeah cuz like there, there's one thing i'd say like i am not uh, as mechanically proficient as you know other racers but what i am really good at is timing certain things so i will create patterns and you know stuff like that that are repeatable so that i don't have oh, to be oh, here we know, go. really good no. okay okay oh i was like i don't have to be good at pushing buttons i just have to be good at pushing the button at the right time Long and then it feels good yeah. uh but yeah i i, I always look more like i can't do this oh. <laughs> it's too hard Lon has a good strategy now. Uh, going fast over the first two here. Okay, never mind. We we switched. Yeah. I... Oh what? Okay. What? Oh, the... what? Okay. Racing. Okay. Well, okay. Perfect. Ah, dead. Oh no. They're, they're, Underneath. They're, they're, there's no reverse. But Lon, that's the first time Lon's seen that. So... Yeah, but I mean, he's not gonna repeat that. He was like weirdly between the lavas. That's not. Like... I... That's not so, repeatable. So the start of the stage also kind of lets you do that. It does make me wonder about some of the hitboxes. Um. You yeah, know, the way the lava's would... raised up, I would think you would always hit lava before flip. Oh, like, it's not even... raised. No, that one's down. Oh it's my god, you down. can just drive over it. Yeah. So, oh it, my god. So I, they... I, was, I was wrong in my initial assumption. They lie to you. You can here. just drive over it. You can just drive over it. They lie to you with this part. It's like, look at the lava's raised. And then because the perspectives are weird, but you can see it. It is lower. <laughs> oh no. So you don't actually have to put in any effort. I even made a comment about it before. I'm like, yeah, I like how they show you the lava's always raised, and it's not. It's just the game. I'm gonna go back to Maurice's comp, evil level design. Uh... Yeah, it specifically seems like the lava here is designed to make you think it's the other way when you get later it's in the level. It's an optical illusion. It is, uh... look at it. It's so obvious right yeah, now. It, like now I can't unsee it, but like I used, to, I was always <laughs> thinking, oh man, they gotta jump over these tiny lava slaps. When, yeah. when random guy did that, I was like, oh, like I just pictured, yeah, you know, I'm driving like... uh, on the the left and then the right and then the left and then the, and it it occurred to me that like wait that shouldn't work though because the lava should be higher. And it just clicked yeah. for all of us immediately. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and now I can't unsee it now. Stage, it teaches you this, but because they set you up with something that is making you literally expect something different. And then, because of, you know, just the colors make it kind of hard to uh, separate layers in your head. It's so obvious. <laughs> you might have to jump, you may have to jump after the first one. Like, you might be even with the lava for as you approach. That I can't see. But the rest is very clearly beneath you. Yeah, I still can't tell from the first one. Because the game, the level starts out teaching you... And they've done it a thousand times. Drive on the gap. Fun ah, needs to slow down a bit. And I gotta say, if the players never realize this, I can't fault them, right? Our no, job I... is literally just to look at the thing <laughs> and talk about it. And none of us saw it for like 15 minutes. No, we, we, we basically, if that happened to us while we were playing, then we would understand, but that's... You know, because <laughs> this is a, this is a game where it's a little easier to imagine yourself in the driver's seat because it's a bit simpler and you slow know. Down, slow down. Oh. Oh. But they're they're racing and racing is stressful, especially if it's your first one. You know, my my first goal entering a mystery tournament is I really wanted to go 500. Like I wanted to go 2-2. Two -two. Mm -hmm. Worst. And I so... wanted to know if I was good at video games. You can't turn left and right in the air. Can you speed up and slow down in yes. the air? Okay. Yeah. That's the one thing I'm pretty sure you have control over. I don't know how much you actually like go faster or like how quickly you pick up, but I mean you see. Well, I with the with, with the, the stereoometer. No, no, don't don't speed up. <laughs> Lon had the right idea. He he did the exactly right thing. Going like three quarters ish over the first ones to the right. And slowing down to like half, so that you jump over one lava at a time. Seems good to me. This but is both players' first race, by the way. So, uh, I mean, this is tough. It's it's so hard when you get stuck like this to yeah, deal I... with that. 
I remember very specifically my first uh, my first mystery tournament race. It was actually, funnily enough, going to be uh, Princess Remedy, but Yorkie had already played it. Uh, so instead, I got Gain Ground, and the pace spin was listed for the normal difficulty, but we were told to play on easy. Um, and it gave us very strict rules about what continues were. If you game over three times, you had to redo the entire thing. Uh, that's on normal. On easy, you had like 12 continues. So we were playing really, really conservatively. <laughs> and it was terrifying. I, sh I shouldn't tell um, you what played. my... I shouldn't tell you what Good. my first race and experience was, because, like, my role as a heal is bad enough already. All I know <laughs> is, in Reject Tournament, Roar made us play Aladdin for the SNES, despite the fact that I had not only played that game, but absolutely hated the SNES version. And he made us play it, and I was just angry the entire time. Like, we were both knocked out, but I was mad. Down. Uh, he did slow down. A little too late. Yeah. But he's got the spirit. It's, 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 there's a point where I wonder, it's like, when do you just, like, go extremely, extremely slow and just take in everything? Just mentally diagonal, mad. diagonal, diagonal, like a, a bishop or something. Right, here we go. Not yeah, too fast. He, Way too fast. You, you, you have you have a timer, but like your your timer is your charge gauge, and that seems to be based basically when they hit the wall, they don't lose it. So it seems to be based almost entirely on how far forward you move, or maybe it's time spent moving forward, so you lose the same amount at a lower speed. Nice. Um, oh. I understand the oh. facts there. Oh. 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 On top. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It looked really good too. It didn't look like they center. were lined up directly in the middle somehow. But like, maybe, that's maybe, not maybe easy they, at all. Uh, uh, it, it may depend on like what kind of controller they're using. Like, if they're using like let's say an Xbox controller, instantly tapping oh. left at point oh. one or something might be extremely easy to do, and that'll send them off. Oh, nice! But... Good speed! Good speed! Love it! All right, now jump! All right, all right. Gotta get up top! Gotta, gotta get up top! Jump. Nice! Oh, there it is! There we go! <laughs> Whoo! I would absolutely have gone to zero speed in that tunnel. Like, I would have just been so terrified. <laughs> but then you would need to make the jump and you would need yeah. speed all of a sudden. And you Who would cares? be so scared that you like would miss the yeah, jump. Yeah, I mean, it, it, that, that, that's a hard one. But I know exactly how I would feel. All right, we got a new level. Get some railings. Well, I'm just I doing a, a like a <laughs> some kind of skateboard trick where you just kind of kiss the rail and then ollie off of it. This level's kind of a mess. There's a lot of different ways to go, and it's pretty I, unclear what might be best. I, I, I'm starting to, like, not appreciate some of the color design, because I feel like there's a visual overload part where you just miss stuff if there's too much information. Mm. And it's like, I'm seeing this green, and oh, I'm nice. like, okay, but then I didn't see the wall ah, the hole close. there, and it's that, that just feels annoying. Like, why does that need to be extremely green right in your face? Yeah, I think there's a lot about this that the players would say is just a little bit annoying. The way that the stupid car keeps bouncing and I gotta slow down and grind all the way over to the side to get in this tunnel that's here that's just way too close. And <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's like, imagine if this had a Sky Roads color scheme where everything was like, you know, matte and drab. I think it would just be visually a lot clearer. That's one thing I can say about Sky Roads is the only level that anybody ever had problem is is when it spells out gas, it gives you a oh. giant arrow, but no one thinks to read. Uh, like, literally nobody thinks to read on that stage. I don't like what I saw from Random Guy on that attempt. Just had a little bit of trouble getting lined up with the tunnel at the end, which is not easy. Like, you, the lava part is the part that's really the problem for these players, but... Getting in that tunnel is not easy either. Yeah, the second you get over that last lava pit, uh, just it yeah, just immediately speed zero. I like how Lon already forgot you can slow down. <laughs> uh, well, Lon looks should good. Be uh, okay. okay. Oh, oh come oh, on! Oh, yeah, there we go. Come on. on. Wait, but if you have to go on top and the tunnel is round, you need to be square on with that thing. You, you can just jump really quickly, I think. Yeah, I you think you can probably yeah. jump, re-jump very fast, and you'll clear it. I would have thought as soon as you jump at an angle, you'll just keep going at an angle in the air. Uh, I don't. I think it's only when you hold the direction that you move in a direction. Yeah. Right, jump, jump again. That, that is that a bounce? Like they, is no, a bounce they, different they from bounce. a jump? I think that. Yeah. Was a bounce. This, so that's so. Yeah. So they can't jump until they are done bouncing. So 
so that's why you'll see like they'll just crash because they're they don't have enough time to re-jump after landing so uh, Lon's got to jump way in advance of that tunnel I, I think Lon actually has to jump really late so that you bounce on top Oh yeah, you could also try to go over if you jump at like the last possible second. That's uh, that's another option. I would have thought to re-jump, but yeah, no, that. you can jump again. There's no delay on the jump. Uh, I think maybe it, it, I think the bounce may be speed dependent. Like I think it's a, oh god, I hate this. Oh, why is it this like is angled? visually the worst? <laughs> oh, lava! <laughs> Come on, I, you can't even tell. <laughs> I didn't even see the lava until they were in oh, it and no. exploding. Like, I, I honestly thought they already died because uh, I, I just didn't uh, that's know. Lava. Like, I thought that was death. And then probably up. This is yeah. Transfer. Okay, go slow. Go slow. Oh. You could just not... stop and look. Yeah, yeah I, I, I would oh, not God. want Left to or right? drive. Oh, that's fine. Like pulling oh, over to check. Don't jump! Don't jump! Okay, check yeah. the directions. Jump! Okay. jump. Right, but now jump. jump! All right. That was just uncomfortable. I <laughs> don't like that. So this level that they got stuck on, where JCI still is, is halfway through the goal. We've seen this three levels after that, so yep. not too many left in the goal. But you gotta like adjust your speed so that you can make these turns, like of zero. And you have to or any racing game. You have to go yeah, very fast no. and just you can get on top of the next. Ugh. No, it's like Christ. that. You know the 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 last stage in FC or GX. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. The last one. The it's the, it's the one Rainbow where you Road the one. Goes. Yeah, the Rainbow Road one. <laughs> the one where sure. you can just. Yeah, you fly all over the place if you know what you're doing. I. Mm. Uh, I, to beat that stage, I literally, on one of the turns that, I I don't remember why I just couldn't make it, but I just stopped because the Staff Ghost was not fast enough to beat me. On very I hard? Stopped. I, yeah, very hard. I'm not. Okay. I, I, I didn't bother with it. Okay. I didn't want it. <laughs> Random guy learned the lesson that Maurice had foreseen a while ago of if you are going at a speed such that you are jumping over one lava square right down the middle, you end up on the wrong sort of polarity to get into the tunnel at the end. You're in the air when you need to be down. Oh, yeah. So it, it worked really good at getting random JCI past all of the lava, but it made it extremely difficult to get into the tunnel at the end, and we might need to see a different approach. I don't like the stage that on this one. Feels like you're, you're yeah. always best turns, or too slow to make the jump. Yeah, this... Uh, okay, okay. That was close. All right, it didn't slow down the entire time, so it's just you, you just gotta hope that you're. I, I think maybe it's more of a, an illusion because I, I think the solution is to just glide over the gaps uh, and just always go hard in the direction because that that seems what Lon's yeah, doing. Yeah, I think you have to turn over. early. Yeah, yeah. It, you basically turn when you'd be half over, and it, it just kind of works out. Oh, good. Ah, uh, oh, oh, that oh. just let go of right a little too soon. I, I uh, honestly, I'm wondering if uh, Lon just saw that and was just like, I don't know what to do. There's a single platform there and didn't know where to jump next because they were like tunnel visioning on that and they're like, okay, I gotta jump. Oh, and there. So, right there, they, I think they tried to jump, but they were over, like, they were between blocks and couldn't yeah. jump. There's sometimes I always wonder because I do it while playing games like this later. Like, they just forget to, to, to hold right. I do that all the time. Right, nice, nice, nice. All right, nice, nice, nice. Oh, good job. oh okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a good clear. I like that. So four more levels, I guess. This is the third one of this diagonal. Green. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. No. It's a big ah! <sighs> you can't go back. Just, just glitch and just jump and, yeah. and <laughs> mesh, touch it from underneath. Mesh the jump button. Well, I mean, we've seen these tunnels are not as solid as they appear, right? So <laughs> only, only from the top, though. <laughs> mm. yeah, like the front or something. I, I, I did appreciate a uh, random guy getting to into that tunnel just by crashing into it. <laughs> That's the one thing I will say is the uh, part review of zero speed. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Nice. That was nice that was sight reading. Oh, again. Yep. Oh. Again. A little too slow, oh. I think. 
I think the green ones with the arrow are booster pads. I, I will okay, say the first stage is very visually difficult to look at. This the, the last two versions with this color palette have been much better than the first one. Well, I mean, the first one was trying to trick you. It was the evil level. Yeah, one. which I, which is why it was the worst. This one, the, these have been much better, despite you know, horrible yellow. Oh, it, oh random guys, random guy JCI, just like slammed on the brake. Was gonna do, uh, basically got a two 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 one, to then finally get diagonally into the tunnel, and it was a two 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 one and a half. So right. if he can just break a little bit more, on should be fine, and there's a clear. Long on the last three set. Lasers. Lasers unlocked. Hell yeah. Uh, wait, uh, it's not done Sidewinder. Or, wait, where, where are they? Uh, easy Squeeze, Classy. Where are they? Okay. This looks like the lot. This is where the gravity BS comes in. Yeah, this is easy to look at. Okay. Okay, there's a clear. I guess we're dead. I, I do remember this. I, I, I must have played this game on the side, because I'm like, I remember this being awful. It's hard to tell where you will end up after switching. Yeah, it's almost like you want to jump at the start just so you don't. Like, it, it deliberately makes it so you have to be at a specific point so you don't just get obliterated. Where, where do you go? Oh! <laughs> I'm wondering, okay, it I know they have to the go start. to zero speed, don't they? They have to go to zero speed, I think, and then just land back down. Okay. Okay, this is we. Okay, yeah, there's this finish right there. Yeah, the finish. Is there's there some the way start. to turn around? It must be something on this uh, uh, that they have to touch and they weren't touching. That I think they just jumped over what he needed to touch. I, I thought I saw a, bl a blue thing. Yeah, yeah maybe. Oh. I would go check basement right now just to make sure I didn't miss a mechanic. Yeah, yeah. Why don't I do that even? I... Nope. Uh, huh? 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 I don't know. I was not expecting a sort of puzzle element <laughs> to this. I don't remember this. I don't. I don't remember <laughs> at all. Yeah. So the beat the beat roads one to three of the first six sets. Uh, it's entirely possible both of you just have just forgotten. Um, but is it also possible this like the the goal's been beaten and this is no some that, other that, level? that is that is not the case because okay. uh, this is this is set five of six because gotcha. uh, random guys on set three, uh, Lon just beat set four, mm -hmm. and that is at least easy to tell because the color palette switch every set. Yeah yeah yeah. Sidewinder 2 uh, was the one that they were stuck on forever. Oh, there's a lava on top and bottom of the midair block. Okay, fine. Whatever. Yeah, that's... Oh, it crashes into the side anyway. But if I remember, like, I, I, I... It was either myself or someone else. Just, like, they went to zero speed. Oh, yeah, there's, there's oh. A, like, a reverse block on the other side of that. Yeah, so you have to go block. really slow and then really fast. Really and then, and then you got to do this, this stupid bouncing thing again. I, I honestly, I'm looking at this. I'm like, just play this like Mario Bros. Jumping over like Piranha Plants or something like that. You know, like just just go to zero speed, you and think? then when you pop up, you just go max forward and then zero. Oh, yeah, I, that's, I that's so. how I would treat it. Oh, we got drum and bass now. Yeah, JCI getting tricked by the lava. Absolutely cannot blame him. Classic. I, I'm just thinking of like a final chase music from Sonic uh, Adventure 2. You know, or like when you're for the fight versus shadow. <laughs> That's a good track. I have no affinity for Sonic or even Sonic music. Oh, here Unless we go. Unless it's from the first couple of games. Oh, it's a different There's level. The turnaround. Oh, this is easy. Nice. It is. First try. It wasn't even that easy. Just needed to slow down a little bit. Free fall. Okay, don't do this. I... Oh, I thought this would spin him into the void. 
uh, those are like uh, which one is it? Oh, there's a lot coming up, boy. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Oh, oh boy. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> is this where uh, you like is... find a path and you just go with it because changing yeah, the you, path you, is a bad idea? You you let the game play itself here. <laughs> Is left still left when you're upside down? Oh, I'm assuming no. I mean, a lot of just went flying in the other direction, so I'm a little worried. Mm. I... I don't know. If I... you have to alternate, like, if you want to keep going visually on screen left, and that means alternating oh, left oh, right oh, every time oh, you oh flip, God. that would ah, be very... Ah. Whoa! <laughs> that was weird! I liked it! <laughs> if you could move left or right while in the air, like, if you could pick and choose... It'd be a fun uh, game. Yeah. <laughs> This would be a better game. Instead, we got Ghost and Goblin physics in an F Zero racing game, so, <laughs> you know. F Zero VVV. Welcome to Mystery Tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mystery Tournament. All I think this is missing. Where's the stage where you have to go over specific green tiles and pick up gas? <laughs> or it just blows you up. We did have the, the recreate dot done in 45 minutes, who is a pretty good blind racer, by the way. So, yeah, 45 minutes over... for a good racer is it just highlights the difficulty of this game. Yeah, if I were to go over uh, times I saw for this game, um, this, I think it was like Dragon Sea Zero had like a 23, and the Maurice took 30 minutes, <laughs> or 28 minutes. And no, everyone else was in like bad time. So. Like this is a hard game. Yeah, this looks really. Hard. I think getting lined up with the middle seems good. You can do the the same strategy that worked on those lava pits of just kind of straddling between two lanes. I think you could kind of do that. It doesn't, like you know, start. there's still other concerns. There, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But like then that. I think Lon has to slow down a little. Some, yeah, there, some, uh, something else needs to happen for sure. <laughs> like, th this would definitely be a part where, you know, just going to zero once you hit the one gravity pad because you know you're going to bounce between the two. Just so you can look and see, like, okay, well, what's actually happening right now. Yeah, Uh Because totally. I have a feeling they're going to get to the end, and if they're going at the wrong speed or the wrong cadence, they're going to be on the wrong, you know, well, plane. Left. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Went left twice. Because they got to end up going down. Um, or rather, you know, <laughs> down being down. They got to so, land on the land. This is funny. They had such trouble realizing, like, oh, I need to slow down. I need to adjust my speed. That's part of this game, and I need to be doing that. And now that this has been baked into their brains after 45 minutes, random guy JCI is like, well, I'm not just going to go full speed on this track the whole time. I'm going to, you know, play the game and use the mechanics. And it, it's making these jumps pretty difficult, whereas Lon very quickly was smoothly gliding around all of these yeah, things. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I am appreciating random guy, like, using the speed up only in the air. Um, like, that seems like a smart idea, because then you, that, that's when you only have control over that. Um, but I, I think it's causing other adjustments to become very difficult. I wonder if there's, like, issues where if you had to play this game on a keyboard and you were playing with, um, a keyboard with, let's say, only six key rollover, you know, if it, <laughs> life just becomes hell because you can only push six things at once. So, how many do you need to press, really? Uh, you might need to press four or five, but like if you're playing this on a laptop, like some laptop keyboards, um, I've had our like two key rollover, and I tried to play like Celeste with that. Um, it didn't work. Mm. I definitely that was, remember. That was like with a 2010 like Lenovo laptop though, so. Uh, I, could, I couldn't make a jump in Super Mario RPG because I needed to hold diagonally and, and run and then hit jump and the fourth button was just like beep <laughs> yeah that's that that's pretty much what was happening with celeste i couldn't diagonal dash uh that, that's not celeste the um the, the game that came out uh but the, the original pico 8 game i didn't have the buttons to do everything i think you only really need left right and speed up speed down if you, it's yeah. two buttons at most and jump uh, but, but like if, you, if, you're, if, you're, if you're jumping and holding diagonal because you know like there are some games where up isn't the button you press i still hold up because it makes me feel like <laughs> well whose fault is that i don't think that's your keyboard's fault <laughs> Listen, oh. it, 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 up goes faster lon has been like 
getting kind of through the section. He, he's got the idea mm. of like you gotta go left twice and like like not immediately after each other, but still. But then Lon is too fast. He will go up at the end. He needs to slow down yeah. during the section. He, he, he's too fast. He's gonna go up. Yeah, I, I think it's it's a little hard to kind of notice because I when I'm staring at that, I'm like, there's one more platform. Like every single time, even though I know it ends once it fades right. out. Like it's this game has a lot of visual trickery in it, and it's <laughs> kind of insane. Um, yeah, I sympathize with this. The the even though you ju the same thing just happened to you seven eight times, you, there's just you can't help but look at what's on the screen yeah. and have that influence your decisions. And and it's led Lon astray a number of times. But I really like the uh, Maurice approaching. Uh, bringing up the matter of speed and how that relates to whether you're up or down, right? Like, if you, if you just take the distance you need to travel and the speed you're going at, then you're either going to be at the end of the tunnel at a, you know, during this interval or that interval, which is related to how long it takes to go up or down. There's like a mathematical solution uh, to what your speed <laughs> needs to be. Act. Uh, if your speed is between here and here, you will be up. If it's between here and here, you will be down, right? And I'm not saying you should bust yeah. out a calculator in this race, but thinking about it in those terms, I think, could be really helpful. Delta V times delta T equals delta X. You know, just gotta figure it out. 33% increase in speed is a 25% increase in time. Or a decrease in time spent. You know. Alpha does have always... the calculator. So we're full speed, and we're dead. Yeah, like, it also depends where you jump. Yeah. But I feel like you can ignore those. You can kind of ignore yeah. those attempts. You know it works, like, 80% of the time here like this. Yeah, I, like, uh, like uh, right, basically do right after Lon yeah. makes that first jump. Because that, that, that that's the part where it's like, I'm just going to ignore, you know, this first staircase because I can. Um, where like it's like oh fan out and then fan back in no just go over it I would just slow immediately down, slow go down. zero speed right there uh, like that's I... that's where I would do zero speed. Hmm. There's two approaches here. One, I mean neither of these is my idea, but I kind of like what Alpha said of just like just stop, just go all the way, just stop all the way, so that you're like slow DVD, DVD, just bouncing up and down, and then go forwards when you need to. Um, and then another approach I think is just like, all right, when I go full speed, I don't quite make it. So I'm going to go full speed until here and I stop a little, like just slow down a little bit right here. And then was that a, too much? Was that too early? I don't know, right? But just adjust one variable at a time, see what happens. Yeah, I, I do know at least for Lon, uh, the setup that he's going for at the very, very start, it's required that he's at full speed or he won't make that first one. So he always has the same start condition. Yeah. So we can adjust from there. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, but it, it's always good knowing that you have a consistent start variable because then you know exactly where to adjust from because otherwise you, you don't have, you know, a setup. <laughs> if I didn't... If I hadn't played this game specifically, but like I was looking at footage of it or something, I would be like, this is like a pretty good mystery tournament race for a first timer. It's just, this gameplay is pretty straightforward. There's only a couple things you need to worry about at any given time, you know, like it, and it's, it's cool. It's, it's unique. I think this, I think this could be really good. And then it turns out the level design is just yeah. dastardly. It's, it's, it's like the, there, there are certain games like you can watch during GDQ and you can't, like the way the runner plays the game, they cannot stress how literally impossible what they're doing is. Right. Um, because there's, unless you understand the game, there's absolutely no idea why you, <laughs> like, what they did just made should look easy. Um, use, like, Happy. TGH playing anything. As Happy to down. report slow down. Slow speed strats what? from slow JCI down. on this level. So, is getting a lot further yeah. in. Oh, yeah, that's I think it's only a matter of time I before we see the clear. Oh, yeah, there you we go. It. That was the right time. <laughs> Alright, if you look at Lon, he's gonna full speed through this entire at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, he didn't hold left. But, uh, yeah, he was like, well, if I go left, I'm going to bounce into the ceiling, and that's bad, so I'm just going <laughs> to fall down here, I guess. I I've watched Lon do the same thing, like, at least a dozen I I'm times. I'm wondering mm. if the gravity just really kind of messes with your, uh, because 
I, w I wonder what sort of physics apply or how long you have to change directions. Like, maybe, maybe it just makes sense to go way slower because you only have, you know, the frames of contact to adjust left or right. Maybe that's what's making this very, very difficult. Maybe there's a general sense of just hopelessness. I <laughs> As your car just really starts <laughs> bouncing completely <laughs> out of control, and you can't see anything anymore because the camera isn't quite showing you what you need to see, and you've been playing this game for 55 minutes, okay, and you're sure your opponent's going to finish. Uh, right, here we go. Left. Left. And... Slow down. Oh, oh and there was. Oh, there was yeah. a tiny little bit of Sorry. slow down. And that's all I want to see. That didn't yeah. work fine. Slow down more next time. Right now you know. Yeah. Or maybe even start further to the right so that you uh, will land, you know, further to the right there so you won't have to adjust as much. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just thinking of the... Uh, the Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. There's no earthly way of knowing which direction we are going. We are going. Random guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think about that song all the time. It's incredibly, it's incredibly a useful song to play. We're in the place. Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is a hurricane a blowing? So I think random guy is one stage behind, right? Uh, two. One or two. Which one was between? Uh, I don't remember. I thought there was a stage in between these two. Maybe not. I can't think of it. Oh my god, I just noticed it goes whoop Can't imagine how annoying that must be on Lot's level. Oh, that was so close, did you see? There was no woo, it was only whoop, but you're right. It was very close to the edge of that top platform. Oh, random guy already? Okay, random guy is going. Okay, now jumping, and then... This is a stage that, like, you have oh, to, okay, I ah. really appreciate the extremely slow approach. Because, you know, observe, I missed something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Random guy absolutely knows that uh, he missed something, so that's really important. I can't believe yeah. well, that's been what listening I... to this whoop whoop the whole time. <laughs> that was, I'm really glad that you pointed this out, Alpha, because that, that is exactly the sort of thing that the players were not doing. 58 minutes ago when they first started, right? Not only have they got better look, at the look, game, he's, I think. He's like, I missed something and went over that. Okay, it's not here. I'm looking. Where is it? What happens if I fall? Seize, Seize it. it. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then you see whatever garbage happened with Lon, and Wait, uh, that seems really that? bad mouthfeel. <laughs> it's on the other side of the block. Oh, no. But I didn't even so notice. That that change in approach though that that was the first time random J uh, random guy JCI saw the end of this level and was like well that was weird right the first time we saw a complete reversal of approach whereas like earlier on in this race we saw them do the same thing like 10 20 times before they finally were like oh maybe I should slow down or something right they I think they've gotten significantly better at blind racing in general just over these past 59 minutes <laughs> yeah. You, you, like any amount of experience, like there's no experience is everything. I, I, I am wondering how Lon got to because I, I was too busy like talking about like the cool thing that was happening on the other side, and now like the, the random guy is uh, having the issue of okay, I know where I need to go, I need to get there, and isn't taking it as uh, cautiously because they you know they know. Um, but okay, yeah, now should be falling down uh, like tap tap tap. Oh, and there's okay. nothing below. Yeah, okay, but yeah, you know below, so that's the, yeah, but you know that's there, and people don't, you know, well, they don't attempt. You hope that the developer didn't deliberately put in Red Heron. <laughs> yeah, no You never way. know with this game. Yeah, no, I, 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 I say that because, you know, good game design should never have anything, unless it's like a blatant, like extremely blatant Red Herring, like you literally put a Red Herring uh, in, in a stage that there's no reason right. for there to be there. Um... I'll use this as one uh, I was testing for Bob is you. Every time we found mechanics that, you know, it's again, we can complete the stage without these words because we can do this. And fully either fixed it or turned the level into the new stage because the thought process to reach that other solution was fascinating. <laughs> um, and there's a couple of them, and there's a particularly evil one very late in the game. Um... <laughs> Which was not my fault. I am at least happy <laughs> about that one. I am. <laughs> there's a lot of things about that game to blame on me, not that one. 
We are past the hour mark, so this has become a, a, a match of endurance. Yeah, that's what that, I was know, thinking has, earlier. Has factored in. Because it's also Whoa. one of those games, like, it's you really have to concentrate. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would almost say that maybe a longer game for newer racers maybe it, it is a little better because they, they can develop things that, that work out in their head. Um, this is especially nice if you have two new racers. Like, if they were racing, let's say Maurice. Uh, Maurice would have been done about 40 minutes ago, and then it just doesn't feel good. Yeah, I, I agree. I, that change I noted in their thought process, you know, three minutes yeah. ago or whatever. Like, I don't think that happens if they if they lost in, in 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or, you know, whatever it was, and then it was over. They might... You know, someone might tell them afterwards even, like, hey, you know, you could have done this, right? And they would go, oh, okay. But that doesn't, you don't really learn that lesson the way that you learn it if you're down in there doing it for an hour straight. So I think this has been a, a fantastic yeah. learning experience for both. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I, I, I say all these things, like, yeah, just do this and be smart. And then when I play the games, I'm like, nah, go fast, feel good. Uh huh. Because uh -huh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> random guy doesn't see it. He doesn't realize he has to get to the he, other he side did of that it platform. Once. But I, I don't think realized the other side of the platform was there, or maybe uh, intended to land on the very edge of that platform uh, and missed it, and like clipped the pixel on like the one path of it. Yeah, I'm surprised. So the the first time they missed it, second time they dropped down and saw it, third time I... they hit it and flipped, right? And when they flipped and saw the platform in front of them, I thought, okay, when now, now he, he knows. No. Yeah, so oh. I, I think I know what Random Guy was trying to do previously, and it's something that I would think of doing if this was a game that had physics that, you know, made sense. It was trying to slip off the platform, Here we go. and then um, was trying to slip off the platform to the left, and then cut back to the right, but you can't do that cut back on this game. Nice, good clear. Uh, so that's what I was thinking. Now they're on the same stage again. We gotta race are again. We? Yeah, we are. I'm keeping this track. This is but five You two, said there right? were a track between these two. I... And then you said, "Is there?" And we went, hmm, "Maybe not." Yeah, yeah but... I just like, yeah, yeah, but no, like, no, oh, yeah, Alpha is like pretending. I no, no, <laughs> that's what I said. I'm like, I thought there was because everybody had been here forever. <laughs> Same it's level. Hard. Lon, how much has Lon really learned about how to get through this? I think he's section? learned a lot. He knows yeah, he has okay. to slow down. He's not executing it well. Like he will slow down here. You will see it. See? Nice. Perfect. First okay, try. Now Lon has learned everything they need to get through this section. How did yeah. they end up on the <laughs> other side of that earlier? That's what I want to know. They're like in the middle. They didn't react. No, they were they were under underneath that platform. Okay, oh, underneath? so the green platform means they're at max speed the entire time. Uh, I'm yeah, it sure. accelerates you. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't know what's going, going on Going full speed here. the whole time. Oh, the other ones are slowed down. The arrows are pointing the opposite direction. Uh, okay. So oh, when you drive over both, you, is it... No. No, no, look at the, um, look one at... One is higher, yeah, yeah, one is the lower. Under charge. They're, they have a time limit on this level. They have to go max speed or they probably won't make it. I mean, they can't go in the slowdowns anyway. It's it's uh, recessed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you Like the correct. lava. Oh god, what is this? But yeah, they, they, uh, they, they, they can't go slower here. Oh, uh, go they, slow, go slow! No! Uh, you could see it's coming! They can't go, afford to go much slower here. Let me, let me change my... Uh, or they may be able to jump at the start. But here, realizing you can just drive work. over the middle. That was that was a perfect encapsulation of different levels of blind racing skill. I think the the player didn't even see anything coming and died. I saw it coming, but I was like, "There's no way I'd react in time. I'd be dead." Whereas Maurice saw it enough in time that he actually probably would have been able to slow down in time. I was too busy making whoop whoop sounds, which is exactly what would be happening for you, right? So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> whoop whoop! Like, your, your car is just, like, careening into the abyss, and you just go <laughs> whoop! <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was like um when Andy was racing uh, uh Super Monkey's Bouncy Day and he found the honk button and I don't think he was thinking any, anything other than honk the entire rest of the race. <laughs> um you know simple people simple pleasures. All right. Good all speed, right, good right. speed. Good speed, good speed. All right. This I would at the be, end we're, we're playing yeah, slow down. This jet not slow down. Hard. Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 just take time. Oh, no, you already no. know how to yeah, do this. No, no, he's almost out of charge. Yeah, but it's fine, it's fine. It was it was scary. So three more levels. Yeah. Okay. Three more levels. Hurdles. One, two, three. Right. Oh, it's uh, checking. It's, it's been so long. It's lost track. One, two, one, three, two, four, three, four, five, four, five, five, six. Yep. 
Oh, you gotta jump around. Wah! Them? No, you gotta jump over them. You, you gotta, gotta jump, jump over because you can't go back yeah. left and right. Meanwhile, random guy JCI oh, to the left. has been in this whoop whoop section a little bit and has, has found that you know you can straddle between two different lanes in order to easily get flips, but uh, I did not see an increase or decrease in speed. Oh, the audio is fine again. It looks like whatever. Uh, oh, gravity is low. They have low gravity. That's why. Uh, I'm like, really the bar has a use. Films that looks weird. Gravity's low because they're they're jumping higher, and I didn't know if it was the color, but no, I looked down. Gravity has changed. So when you slow down, do you jump less to the right and left? Uh, I would assume so, depending on how the gravity works. So I think they gotta slow down a lot. Yeah, they, they're over jumping this for the fifth time now. Yeah, and I, I think it might just be in their head because the game is literally just said, hey, you know that muscle memory? <laughs> oh, that works too. You just go to the very left of the platform. The other thing Wait, that I'm guy, JCI, possibility oh. is oh, it's um, earlier, uh, these, these things they have to jump over, they don't have lava at the top of the start. If they landed on one, they could probably jump well in advance and make it. Or it's possible that if they landed on the top one and went max speed, they could glide to the right, uh, depending on how the uh, the gravity works. Lon needs to slow uh, down. Slow down. Uh, yeah, because they, they, uh, Lon went all the way to the left and still overshot. I like the idea, though. Give myself just a little bit more space. Yeah. To Slowing make down? Yeah, it ceased that he yeah, didn't jump as go. far now. Oof, 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 and missed. So I saw the end of the level for random guy JCI, but was was upside down and, and drove right pa past it or under it, over it. I can't even tell, but they've they've got there. So you know he's got a he's got a very real shot at making some ground up really late into this race. Uh, okay. Well, oh god. Is, yeah. Oh no, come on. Go to the other side. Oh, this stupid game. That's so dumb. I'm appreciating uh, Maurice's comment on these levels more and more as it goes <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. Just like, is it really that? Yeah. Maurice from three years ago <laughs> was correct. <laughs> That's four years ago. Oh jeez. We're old. <laughs> <laughs> Good speed. I like this. And make these jumps. Maybe a this little is perfect. faster. Oh god. Oh, uh... <laughs> Like, maybe so, a little faster? Lon is on the, what, the second to last level? Or is this the first it's of the last? second to last level, I think. Was uh, this the first? No, yeah, this is Hurdle. No, this is the first one. Hurdle's one? Right, yeah. No, this is Hurdle. I thought this was Hurdle. Okay, two. three levels left. So, I, I could see this going to the 90 minute mark. We have a, a cutoff, typically, at around 90 minutes where we call the race. We don't want players to get stuck for an eternity and not know who won. So ba we will judge based off of the progress they have made at 90 minutes who has won the match. And that's going to become than a factor. Old rule, which was, oh, you didn't finish in 90 minutes. All right, here's the new game. Oof. Which that's was so called fast. the, uh, I, I like to call fast. that the, uh, hey, look, you get to play Mr. Nuts and then another video so? game. Oh, oh, that's how it happened. That's okay. how it happened. You oh, just sneak watching. right in there. Now we know. I'm going to it's decide. A... Oh, actually. The wait, wait oh, do you have okay. to jump over that? I that, that block at the end, I think, is a gravity inverter. Yeah, maybe. you gotta jump over that. Uh, or either around jump it. over it or jump around it. I would try jumping over it, because max speed, low gravity can probably clear it. Oh, um, it might that, send you huh? into space, though. I, I would at least try so? it once. Oh. The, the one thing you have on this level is... Unlike the previous level, you have charge, right? Like, you, you, you can actually make it and take this time. Is, this is interesting because there's some speed level that perfectly jumps you from one of these rails to the other, and you could just find it and then know what it looks like and then, you know, dial it in and then make the jump across, right? Like, And I don't think you need to speed up. You can still make the hurdles. Well... Yeah, I I would not try speeding up. At like all just here. go like three quarters. That's a good speed, I think. You're, yeah. you're you're fast enough to clear the hurdles without too much of an issue, and you will make this jump. Yeah, I I I was looking at it as two thirds seemed safest. That's random so, guy JCI has has not figured out like a I, 
And that was actually a here, very good recovery. Yeah, I like that. Right, do you jump on top of the thing on the right, maybe? And, and that gives you enough height to jump over the gravity block? I... I don't know. I feel like you could jump over it, maybe just max speed. Ah, it's so I, long, though. Yeah, but I, I, I think the main reason that... Because this game has been playing tricks on us the entire time. Um... Oh no, my internet. I was just thinking, yeah, I, I I was thinking this game has been playing tricks on us, and it's made you forcibly, like, forget mechanics. Best. So maybe, You're right. Yeah, see? Yeah, again. It, it's been lying to us the whole time. Oh god, slow down. There's the exit, okay. Oh, <laughs> I would have slowed down for the last one, because I expect the exit to be, like, a meter behind that last hurdle. Yeah. That's the kind of thing it's this tough. game you, has gotten you... me to think. I thought if it was that far away, I would have seen it. But that yeah, thing is taller than it looks, I guess. It, it hid all of that into the distance. Yeah, it, when I saw that, I'm like, was he supposed to touch the previous blue block? Like, that was my immediate thought. Uh. Yeah, I was expecting literally nothing on the other side of it. It, it was <laughs> something was wrong, right? That doesn't clear. But this is it. And it oh, because it, it's a million miles away. All right. Yeah, the, the vanishing point is, like, at that point of the oh, screen, and if it's tall it's... enough to cover that vanishing point, it could be infinitely far away, and you wouldn't but see I'm... any of it. Uh, uh yeah, this... The, these are the kind of optical tricks I kind of appreciate, because, like, at least you can sort of figure out that they're okay. coming. It's still another low-gravity stage. I wonder if we get a high-gravity stage, that might be, like, the next zone that they don't have to do. Good speed. N n good wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get a feel for what JCI's plan is for this section, right? We oh, saw slow, basically slow. go full speed and then slow a little bit for Lon, and I feel like I haven't seen the plan. Let's see. What's the plan? I mean, he's made it past. That's the part. He has a, like, he knows a working strategy. Does he, or, or did... Did like a, a you know a random input or something well, happen? And I mean, he saw it. I don't know what it was. Yeah. And... I think the issue that's happening go, blup, 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 blup. is okay. possibly that it just looks closer than it is, or something like that. I, I, I think there's like a depth perception issue with just the way the stage is presenting itself. I can like that thing looked that. way further away until you're in front of it, and then like this one's on top, and you can barely see that. But on, yeah, um, very good, very good. Okay, welcome back. Apologies. We, we will hopefully capture the, the tense finish to a pretty close and pretty grueling race. We've been like one stage repeatedly. Um, as we are. Yeah, we're still on the same stage. So, ah, so yeah. stream caught it. So you had to what? drop down. Into oh, the last, oh. like, gap between yeah, the we, hurdles. We just, just saw, saw it. that, and there we go. Yeah, and he missed, he missed that when, when the stream died. That, that's, that's what he missed. That, wow. was, that was rude. Um, for so many reasons. <laughs> Actually, so, hurdles is the first one that I, like, like as a, as a stage so far. What's this? What does this ground do? Nothing. Wait, can you not turn? Oh, it's, uh, maybe it's oil slick and you yeah. can't adjust your left and right. So you're just dead as soon as you touch it, really. Uh, you gotta jump to the right here. Unless yes, you land you... on top of the pillar, now yeah. it's lava up there. Oh, uh, but there, so was a well, the... there was a bounce pad. Yeah, so the bounce pad, you either adjust on the bounce pad, or you land on top of that thing and immediately But jump then you gotta slow down right? first. Oh no, you don't. This time in the distance yeah, it's is fine. Yeah, it's further away. And then let's hope that there's no random uh, trolls. Use the to bounce pad. Yeah, go in. Okay, the bounce Perfect. pad does it. Jump earlier! Uh, <laughs> the, it's misleading on the it's ceiling. So the hard. the blocks are the way this camera is looking. The the blocks are, are like closer than they appear when you're on the it, ceiling. It's a hundred percent like the angle of the blocks and the part where they picked green and purple. Like there are parts I'm looking at this and like I honestly couldn't tell you just from looking at it. But it's just because I know oh. whether or not. Oh, jump! Are, oh, you did. Okay. Uh, oh my that's, god! That's no, a, I would have done that. I was like, nope, under. Yeah, right I would have jumped. 
<laughs> you, you said jump, and I was like, I don't even understand what he's talking about. That's the stupidest no, I, thing I've I ever heard like, in my entire yeah, life. No, that yeah. I would just be incinerated no, I, immediately I, I, after. Yeah, w w when you saw it, I'm like, there's definitely something there. You have to jump. And then I'm just like, but what's on the other side? And the answer is, you know, gruesome murder. Uh, I mean, like, I expect way. this game just to be really rude. That's why I said jump. Yeah, cause, I mean, the, like, the, this is like a clear death you have to jump. Like, I, I still don't understand yeah, jump, jump where, how. Yeah, I don't, uh, basically, <laughs> Over the blue, your... but under the pillar? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you basically are jumping as you're touching it, or maybe you just have to go dumb fast and jump at the same time. I don't know. It could be that the other side is the only one that's safe for all we know. Oh, uh, oh no. Oh, that's horrible to think about. <laughs> yeah. Can no, you transfer from like the, one the other, rail the other to the thing other? Is that bounce pad is wrong, and you just are supposed to jump over that. But maybe you can't. Oh, there, you're there it is. The ceiling. Oh, you hit the ceiling. Yeah. I thought that you would can that, stage that would hurt anyway, you anyway. But that's not done. Dot done. Coming any minute now. Double checking. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's uh, it. But meanwhile, random guy JC, I did finish. That previous stage while that was happening. Um, one seventeen forty seven is the final time. Congratulations I would not feel, to Lon. I would not feel bad about that race at all. Yeah, I, I'm I'm worried that they're like, God, I can't I can't believe like you know, there's all kinds of getting stuck and <laughs> rude things happening. I could see in some ways this being uh, you know, an overall bad experience, but I, I hope that they realize that this is just really hard and really yeah. mean and so few of what happened is their fault and that actually both of them I think have done great. Yeah, especially because like, I, 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 I wouldn't even say I could beat them if I was playing this game because I hate games like this. Mm -hmm. There's too much information. Well, this um, is a good sign. Lon says good game. In the, I, I, I think that's less in like the GG and more of the like this game is good sense. Yeah, I mean that's if you're, if you're leaving race comments it's usually what those end up being. Um, I love the music in this. Yeah, the, the menu music is cool. The menu music is great. It's like a free ball said his eyeballs were bleeding from the uh, the yellow uh, green stage. How about the random guy? Getting through this. Rancher, hop about a better game. That's it is. Fact. I like that game. Yeah, Monster Rancher Half about was very. Why, why, why haven't we seen that in MT? Uh, well, we did. It was in the top eight, I think. Huh. Unless I'm thinking of a different Half about game. I don't know. I tested a Half about game. Woo -hoo. That was not my fault. Not my. <laughs> and if uh, a Monster Rancher Half about hasn't been in MT, someone should fix that because that's a. That's a decently unique game that, despite reviews being terrible, is very. is probably more indicative of paying money for that game is criminal, but not playing it. <laughs> we are joined now by Lon. Hello. Hello, how's it going? It's going great. This race was, was really long and hard, but it was a. we were having a ton of fun watching, so I, I'm hoping it wasn't too frustrating. Nah, it was pretty good. Oh, I love to hear it. So to uh, talk me through it, because we were noticing some pretty significant changes in gameplay from both of you over the course of the race. Like, do you feel like you were learning a lot as you were going? Oh, that's tough to say. I would say mm -hmm. that um, I was just trying to keep it fresh every time uh, because I was getting into habits that I thought were not being helpful. <laughs> Yes, totally. There was there was a lot of like I've I've done the same thing ten times and it's it's not worked out. Uh, so you know what is the answer? Now what is the answer turned out to be a difficult question to answer on a lot of these levels, but I, we can see the the sort of shift to experiment to find the you know find those solutions. Yeah, no, it definitely kept me guessing. Um, you know, plus, I, I think my favorite ones were probably the pitfalls. Like, um, I think it was uh, only like 3-3 three, three or something, which is the um, the one that has like a pitfall right at the very end. That one, killer. Absolute killer. Um, so there was one level that both of you were stuck on for, oh, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes or something? That was 3-2. That was 3-2? Yeah, that'd, that'd be it. Yep. <laughs> um, what what is what's the headspace like in that moment, or that well, it's one long moment. But you know, over the course of that, 
you know, are you starting to get frustrated, hopeless, or were you just like, oh, I guess it's just like this? Uh, I, I'm just not used to racing quite like this. So, um, yeah, I think that slowing down was what was helping me, but it's always a pain that, you know, I have to go fast. I have to go fast. Um, but, you know, especially like 3-2, you know, I felt like it was suboptimal to try to like weave through those two pathways going super slow. But my alternative was the uh, the checkers with lava. So. Yeah, now we <laughs> we only spotted this about 15 minutes into the, the 25 minute grind on that stage. All three of us missed this for a long time. Um, the lava at the second part where you need to get into the tunnel, it's lower than the stage earlier in the stage it's, it's higher so if you just drive you'll actually like bump into the side of it in kind of a weird way but later on you could actually just position your car sort of in between the checkerboard and you'll just drive over all of it pain yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were all like, oh, wait, it's recessed. It's actually, you can just drive in the middle, like in those other stages, right? Where where th there's like checkerboard uh, patterns and you can just drive through the middle. You could have done that on the lava. Yeah, huh. you actually, you did do it on the reverse gravity flippy level so that you would always be flipping up or down. Yeah, no, that was definitely some finesse. And, um, you know... 3-2 is definitely like the hurdle, I think, for the entire game, despite there being levels called hurdle. Hurdle levels, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those are the easy ones. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, no, it was a good time. I mean, um, I was completely blind to this game, but I had seen like similar games like it on MT before. I just didn't remember the name, but um, I don't think that really changed anything. I had never practiced it before, so it was um, it was interesting. Yeah. I guess I have two questions uh, leading to that. Um, the first, the first one would be when we saw your scorecard come up and it said you hadn't been in an MT before. Like we, we'd all recognized your name and seen you around. Was this the first event that you've entered, like in this channel, or have you like done one of the other side events or something like that? I was part of Funfest. Uh, I okay. also like kind of changed my name a few months ago, but I don't remember if I did anything since then. So okay. All right. Well, yeah. I just, I just couldn't remember because you seem very familiar, so we couldn't remember. I just uh, got that face. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the other, the other question that we had uh, was, or well, that I had was, um, uh, speaking to not noticing those recessed things. Uh, how much did you like uh, think about this game, like uh, visual clarity, or like deliberately trying to trick you with how it, how it uh, was displaying things to you? Because there were definitely like parts where. Uh, we could tell that it's like, oh, it's kind of, you know, trying to screw with your sense of perception. I think uh, Sidewinder was the one that kind of caught me on to that. Um, I mean, I, I noticed that the game was messing with me, certainly, but um, Sidewinder is where they had like a lot of stuff that was obviously hidden paths um, that were going to just be a doom. So, um, uh, yeah, the game definitely tries to pull a fast one on you. So I, I guess overall, as a as you know, your first mystery tournament proper map. I know you, there's really not too big a difference between doing stuff in Funfest and 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 racing along here. But I don't, maybe there is. Like, did it did it feel any more stressful or exciting or anything like that? It was more stressful knowing I only had like uh, oh, it's a one v one versus you know my team uh, dragging me up through the ranks. Um, <laughs> I would say it was, you know, definitely more stressful for that. Uh, but it's also, it's a little disheartening in Funfest to see like 30 people finish before you. And then it's like, oh, okay, <laughs> I see. Uh, we've got some veterans. But yeah, um, no, it felt good still. Um, you know, hard speeding, pretty good stuff. Nice. Well, so yeah, you know, we saw Rickery was in the race and finished pretty quickly. Um, but this was a, this was a difficult game by all means. So uh, I think actually both of you did really well overall. So congratulations. Thank you. JCI is still going on the second to last level. Yes. Yeah, hurdles two. It was a pretty close race. I can't even really think of like any one deciding moment. You know, they all kind of hit all the same snags. There was 
was like two stages before um, Sidewinder that uh, random guy got caught up for like 10 minutes. Like, like basically made it halfway through that 20 minute slog. So if they finished 12 minutes behind, it was just that. Like it was just the early game didn't click immediately mm. um, in, in the same way. Because uh, there were some stages done later, I know, that I, I saw that. But yeah, uh, just, you know, pick up things a little faster or maybe have some better habits just from having done a race before um, or knowing what to expect. The, the root yeah, part is very close. the random guy doesn't even know about this at the game. <laughs> I yeah. Think just saw I saw the exit that. go by underneath. I don't know if random guy JCI did, and I also I you know I have the benefit of hindsight here, but I yeah. think it's possible to notice that and then be like, something's got to happen here at the end, right? You know that <laughs> yeah. should raise some uh, some red flag. Oh no, uh, what do you do here? Okay, that's, that's, uh, that's that. I, I appreciate the attempt. <laughs> um, yeah, no, there, there's there, there's like a point where it's just like, hey, you know, what would be really nice a button that just let me blow myself up if I know I made a mistake, so I have to wait. <laughs> Right, let's That'd see. be nice. I love buttons that blow yeah, me up. Yeah, he knows. Go here. Okay, Good I was slowing worried down. about that. I yeah. was like really worried about that. I thought he was totally gonna bonk the lava or something. I like it. Go safe. So suspicious. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I cannot blame any of that. Alright, final <laughs> level. Lon, what, you're still here, so uh, let me ask you, the um, the part here on this final level where there's like a, you need to jump into a very low ceiling of the oh, yeah, pillar yeah. in order to avoid the gravity flipper. Like, was that as unintuitive as it looked? Cause like we were, we didn't fully understand how to do it until you just did it. No, I mean, it seemed pretty straightforward to me. I mean, um, I think it only took me a handful of tries compared to some of the other stages. So yeah, it just well seemed done. to click real fast, yeah. Like, we knew you had to do something, but we weren't quite sure what. <laughs> yeah, but Maurice looked at it, and he, he just said jump. And I was like, where would you even jump to? Yeah, right? well, like, I didn't wh know why, What do I you just... mean jump? He didn't know either. He just knew. I just knew we had to do something. Oh, no, that was that, that was that was this part of the final stage. Yeah, it just, you had to go under it, you know? they You can, and you, you see the exit of the stage. There's all four paths are viable, so. Uh, well, in theory, they, they had exits on all four, which was much nicer than any other stage in this game. Whoop. There's a... I don't think I realized that was there. Was I, I, I saw that earlier, but I thought it was lava, and I mean, it's basically lava. It's, it's basically... It, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like in Super Mario Maker 2, when you, when you can add like a sound effect to the dying, and that's really yes. annoying because like you, you don't want to wait for the sound effect. You die and children laugh at you. <laughs> yeah, you gotta wait five seconds. Yeah, it's uh, I I do appreciate when games give me the just restart immediately button that's like hidden somewhere that I can't easily push. Um, jump over this. Jump over that. First try on that. Nice using the bumper. That's correct. And now right. jump. Yeah. It, it, like that, that 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 just screams to me is like there's like in my head it wouldn't be a reverse gravity but it would be like a bounce pad into lava yeah that's what i like thought. that's that's what i was thinking but you know it's you have to jump because something there is gonna kill me it's such a video game trope to have bounce pads that like bounce you into spikes and you I, gotta avoid them there was like 10 years ago this this show i uh, okay I, I appreciate we might see a different path out of a random guy huh? um well, uh, he he was very clearly trying to go over the second uh, gravity flipper. Well, I don't think so. That we'll works. see how that works. Oh, I've been, there's an exit that, that's there, so we'll, we'll see. Um, no, but did not this time. No, it's not gonna work. There's a huge uh, pillar it, it, it in the way. It shouldn't. It's huge. Oh. It, there's an exit there, but there's lava hole. Yeah, there, there's only one. Well, there's two exits, but it's it's, two it's, exits, it's symmetrical. Exactly. There's one exit. Everything's a lie. <laughs> uh, but there, there was this, uh, a series that, I, I don't know, a bunch of, like, uh, either college filmmakers or, like, just amateur filmmakers made, it, it, it was a bunch of video game tropes. And one of them was they made a Christmas, uh, basically 12 Days of Christmas song. This was, like, uh, 11 or 12 years ago. Uh, and one of it is, like, and a bat over every pit. Oh. <laughs> it's, like, the final boss singing this song. <laughs> it's, like, and a bat good. over every pit. That's and just like, such yeah. a good understanding of, like, the... <laughs> 
crap NES games would do. <laughs> yeah, it's like, this is what he wants for Christmas. A bat over every pit. Excellent. That's exactly, that's what you want. <laughs> The, the, the rest, the whole thing was a great Christmas song. Maybe I'll try and find it so we can play it because it's, it's like a really, really campy, silly song, but you know, <laughs> it works guy. really well for stuff we, we do. JCI, ah, trying to jump over it early. I, I agree. Ooh. Like I, like I agree it. to like it, it's not gonna work, but I agree that it's like a, a viable idea to try out. Yeah, I, I would yeah. try that. I mean, I probably wouldn't try that unless I was 100% convinced the other one wouldn't work because it yeah. seems harder. Yeah, I would try uh, the but... jumping first. <laughs> like the, the jumping into the level. Not into the ceiling. I would try to jump over it and then maybe accidentally hit the ceiling. Yeah, this. I mean, this is the first time we're properly introduced to like, this is what happens when you hit a ceiling, right? Like, oh, nice. Uh, okay, Bounces and then that's the it. Lava. Bounce, that's it. Yeah, easy. That's, that, yeah, that's pretty done. much the time difference is... Pretty much just those those early stages. The rest of it was extremely close. So we're actually living in the future here. The I think at one point during the stream buffer there was a desync. So the the final time oh, actually a one thirty one forty six. Yeah. Coming in that, from that, random that, guy that, JC. That. We'll see if he wants to pop in and chat. Um, if not, you should all know I guess when we'll be back with more races we have a a schedule of sorts and we got two r1 winners one and winners one <laughs> it's a, a round <laughs> uh unfortunately none scheduled for today after this so um i don't think that means there's definitely no matches today definitely there's a possibility someone will be like how about today and then they just do it so if you really never want to miss a single match, you should follow the channel here on Twitch or join the Discord. You can get a rollable. You'll be notified of, of things like this. Um, but yes, no, no more playing matches for today. Be a Mega Man song. I, it sounds like a Mega Man song. Huh. It doesn't say it is, at least on your stream. It says Apex 2013. Which, is that a game or is it the fighting tournament? Thought it was so the unfortunately, album. random guy. JCI does not have a microphone, so we'll not be interviewing. Um, but if they say something in a text channel somewhere about their experience, I will not hesitate to relate it. Uh, but I can't fill too much time, because I've, I've already covered there are no matches today. You can go ahead and take a look, I suppose, at matches coming up tomorrow. That is another day that exists. Mm -hmm. And there's it's packed. Look at all this stuff. Explosion versus Tetsuya. Explosion with... Uh, definitely a top tier name in Mystery Tournament. Yeah. Yeah, the the name has prompted Fart Explosion to accrue many votes in the predictions. <laughs> yeah. Is I, is I wouldn't be surprised if you looked at the data like they're the favorite against Mystery Tournament veteran <laughs> and extremely skilled player Tetsuya. I would I would I would pick Fart Explosion personally uh, over Tetsuya if it was any zoo animal based video game. Uh, but that would be about it. I have to race Tetsuya later this week. It's going to be fun. Or if Kenya versus Soapy Gnome, I think could be a good match. Or... B's the one, and Jackie the Jack, I think, is another double newcomer face off. Like Metalia versus U Horse. I, I know at least one or two of those people from something, but I can't place it. But that may just be because I'm all over the place. I know one of the players in the bottom match is a friend of, of TPC, so uh, they are is interested Jack? in the outcome, but unable to Jackie the Jack? watch it. Um, it I think it was Metallia yeah. that I'm talking about anyway. I don't know what you're mumbling about. I, yeah, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to remember like why I remember at least one or two of those people. <laughs> it's hard. Well, all I can tell you is random guy. Uh, is just marveling that Rickery was able to do it in 45. No one tell them 
<laughs> Reese did it in 30. <laughs> I no one tell them the Dragon C Zero did it in 23. Oh like, man, that's just so gross. Like I did not understand <laughs> how he did that. Yeah, Dragon C Zero is is really like when they get a game that is up their alley. Yeah, and some uh, magical things happen. I should I should have pinged him if he wanted to do it, but he, he gets randomly busy or uh yeah. Oh no, Zex did it in 23, Dragon's Zero did it in 29, but yeah, it's... Uh, okay. <laughs> Zex is a little good at video games. Well, I've been a terrible host, and I've just strung Lon along here in the voice call uh, this Alon. entire time with, without... <laughs> Lon Alon. Uh, without properly ending the interview, so... Once again, let me congratulate you, um, and thank you so much for playing and for coming to talk to us. Thanks for having me. See you later. We will all see you later. Probably not later today, but maybe... Follow the channel here on Twitch. Or join the Discord. Yeah, join the or, Discord and get the uh, ping me roll, I think it's called, right? Like exclamation ping mark the, ping or me. The give game or. Yeah, ping me. Uh, give game, you're right. That's also a good yeah, one. Then you, then you will know every match, even if we don't restream it, which may happen if no one's around. I think if I type this, a link will appear if anyone is watching and needs the link to the Discord. Oh. And if you're ever confused, you can just ask in one of the channels, and we'll point you in the right direction, where you can see all of Mystery Tournament 0017. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Thank you so much, Maurice, for restreaming Alpha Commentary, both our players. It's been a great time.